Yes, you know this song? Uh, yeah, can't touch this. Super free. Oh, yeah. Can't touch this. Super freak. Oh, really? A lot of yes. us can't touch this. Incense Mines, and it's Rick James. Homeboy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, that's a good song. I used to get down. Super freak. Super freak. Okay, uh, I interrupted uh, your uh, intro uh, okay. with my dancing. Uh, it's still nonsense. recording. It's still recording. Yeah, intro. Let's just do it. Let's just jump right in. Morning. Welcome to Car Rides with Connor. The time is 7 05. If Thursday, April 11th, we are just now it leaving the April driveway. April 11th? Where did the month go? Oh, here we go. Forgot about this. Uh, Coco. Here's no. Coco protecting Connor no. from the murderous wipers. Okay, let me have her. You're getting to, you know what, we may need wipers today. And Connor is safe, I assure you. Uh, okay. Get in the back, honey. Uh -huh. You just you're being voted off the island. No, she's fighting. She's resisting prison. Uh, it's you're our sentence. It, it, oh God, I don't want to hurt her. Hang on. She's resisting. You're resisting arrest. Oh God. Uh, she needs to go to backseat prison. Such a she's such a you, little puff she could, ball. You would be a dad who spoils their kids rotten. Your kids would do no wrong. Can you please close the garage door? Yeah, but no good ever comes from... But as history has proven time and time again, no good ever comes from spoiling a child. So you're all, you know, spare the rod, spoil the child kind of parent? But you won't even let me put her in the back. She's fighting just me. Just go, go put her in the back. Put her in the back. No, she doesn't want to go. I just can, need can her to just not... start driving now? Yes, okay. I just need her to not attack the, do the wipers so we can drive. <laughs> Your throat still hurts, huh, babes? I, we're gonna we're gonna get some bars. All right, when we get stopped, I've gotta get out and buy dog food. We didn't have enough dog food to feed these poor animals. Did they have enough for dinner last night? Should have. Okay. Cause that bag is empty. Yeah. Doesn't the hot drink feel nice on your? On your throat? Yeah. Alright. She doesn't care about the windshield wipers when, when it's me. It's just you. So apparently the windshield wipers could get me. And she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. You know, sis, I thought we were closer than that. I thought we, we had more going on. Oh, look at her looking at the camera. Is she really? Go, go. Come on, babe. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that is so funny. You know the um, man Corey who hand who did that really cool birthday picture for you. Yeah. With you in in Callum's outfit. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, they have a, a podcast. I don't know what the wipers want to do here. Yeah. And they it. talked about you yesterday. Okay. It was cool. Okay, these windshield wipers are being dramatic. I don't think we need all that. So, yeah, I just thought that was cool. Like, here's two people from yeah. somewhere in the Midwest, maybe. And just, just chatting away about you. That's kind of cool. Yep. Awesome sauce. Yeah. Anyway, anything on your mind today on this fine Thursday, this wet Thursday morning? Uh, only that I can't wait for summer. Or that's why. Um, have you ever seen Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes. Like, weren't there a bunch of uh, sequels though? And we've talked about yeah. sequels. I don't know. Yeah, really yeah. Those, I yeah, but yep. Yeah, it's uh, kind of more of a. I find. Now because they have to do with pirates and they take place on the sea, they, they're more like summer movies. Oh, I bet you're right. Are they releasing a new one? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they aren't. Okay. So, wait. I, I, yes, I believe I've seen, I've seen, it's, it's got uh, Johnny Depp in it, right? Yep. He's funny. I like him. Yeah, he is. He and is. he got into that whole horrible 
this situation. But. Which he won. Yep, he was found. You know, the courts sided with him. You know, we don't have enough information, but I like him. Yeah. And so what made you think of that? Of uh, that? Well, after May comes June and then it's summer. Oh, all right. Let me get the connection. Mm. Oh, this intersection when it's rainy stresses me out. just think a lot of people just drive too fast for the weather conditions. Like, these roads are wet, you yeah. know? Okay, so how about we go to the Cloud Mountains questions? We sure can. All right. That's my cue to say, you're boring, Mom. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. New comment on it's raining cats and dogs. That's a Abigail Francis writes, still waiting to know both of your star signs. Oh, is it, so uh, is a star sign your horoscope? Is I, th that... I think so. I think it's probably your zodiac sign. Okay, you tell, your, do you know yours? I think, um, well, I was born in March, so. March 17th. Yeah, I think so. I think mine might be Orion. Or, no, wait, I don't. I don't think Orion's, but I think that's a constellation. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's in a zodiac sign. Do you, um, what are you? <coughs> Hopefully I'm not Cancer. No. No. I think that's June. Wait, what are you? Can you look it up? I know Anna and Ben are Geminis, and I thought that was cool because they were twins yeah. born under the Gemini sign. Just, yeah. That's awesome. Right? Isn't that, yeah. isn't that fabulous? Yeah. I know what I am, but I have a very strong opinion about my star sign. What's yours? So, I'm a Capricorn because of my birthday, but I was born a couple weeks late. Capricorn, the goat? Mm -hmm. And everyone calls you the goat. The greatest of all time. Yeah. Um, but, if you read a, a Capricorn's personality, that is so not me. I'm like the sign before it. Well, what, what, the fun one. No offense to Capricorns. Uh, what, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is, <gasps> okay, what is what? Capricorn personality? Your dad's a Capricorn. Uh, Enough said. Mm -hmm. Do you think that I'm a Capricorn? Mm -hmm. uh, eh. uh, Hard no. Uh, anyway, what about, I'm the fun sign before the Capricorn. Yeah, but what about? But I was born... So I don't know what kind of what about, star crossing there was, but that's what's I going know on. it has an unsavory name, but I think my favorite horoscope sign is Cancer. Yeah, but it's a crab, right? Yeah. What is yours? You don't have internet. Can you try to look? I don't have any internet whatsoever. Can you tell your dad to get you a plan with just internet? Easier said than done. I guess drop in the comments. Please. Mom, if, please don't do that. If you know Connor's sign. Oh, so. Oh, I thought this just was going to be a You just give me a little runway here. But. Do you believe me? Anyway. What? Nothing. What's our next question? All right. Tessa writes Hi, Connor and Lise. I'm a huge fan of you both. From Love on the Spectrum. Connor, I am a huge movie fan and Back to the Future Ooh. is my favorite movie also. Oh. What are your favorite parts of the movie? Do you like the whole trilogy or just the first? Thanks. Well, I actually enjoy the second one. And what I thought was really funny, it was when Marty got attacked by that hologram Jaws. Was, oh, I remember that. Yeah, he thought it was a real shark. <laughs> Do others are doing uh, um, you know oh oh, oh that's right Jeez. Hang on a second. Oh, I also remember that year the Cubs won the World Series against Miami oh is that when that bad man gave himself a, a book Biff went back in time gave young Biff a book okay yes 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 let me explain in 2015 Biff Tannen in Steals the sports almanac and takes the time machine back to 1955 and gives the book to his younger self. 
but immediately after he does that, he changes time. In a deleted edition, it showed old bit if disappearing from existence. Like his timeline, the timeline where he became a loser no longer existed. Now, now there's some scientific debate among that, see? Now, let's see, all right. Let's see, it was 1955 when Biff got the almanac, but it wasn't until his 21st birthday in 58 that he placed his first bet. So, naturally, he, if he was 21 on in 58, then in 55 he would have been... Uh, uh, 18. 18, yeah. Math is hard for you, huh? Yeah, it can be. Yeah. Um, I love Back to the Future, the original, and we've did a whole car ride on this uh, maybe a year ago. I'm I'm just not a sequel girl. Yeah. Sequels, I, I, it takes a lot for me to get into. Now, I'll have to admit, all the Star Wars stuff I absolutely loved. Yeah. So, that's an exception to my rule. Yeah. But when you start putting two on the back of the movie, you're losing me. And, um, is that all of our question? Just what, what's our favorite? What's your favorite? Okay, yeah, let's. But you like the second, really. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you like sequels. Yes. That's the first thing. Okay, that's all. Let's see. Okay, Alex Russell, who I think commented yesterday, also did. Oh. Haha, the, uh, that made our day. Manky Frankie. My favorite is Winston and Isa. Uh, I don't know those. I, I the, watch They're two, watch two characters from Still Game. Winston's always coming up with these, these half-baked harebrained schemes, like putting his weakling grandson in the boxing ring. Thing. Have you seen the guy? He, he's so scrawny. He, uh, he couldn't put him beat, beat a fever. Or, and he couldn't. He couldn't beat a fever. <laughs> He could he couldn't hit water if he fell out of a boat. Connor, where did you hear he couldn't beat a fever? That's awesome. I'm well, using I, that. I just thought I just thought of it up. Uh, uh, it was something Jack and Victor were commenting on. He was co Did it come from the show? Yeah. That's but anyway, Winston's grandson who this was show. very scrawny and an aspiring boxer. Yeah. Was up, was going up again. It's the bigger, tougher opponent. And is Winston the guy at the butcher shop with the lady who broke yeah, his rib? Yeah, yeah, he is. And as, I, I really, can we please, will you sure, make sure, me sure. watch some of it with you, please? Sure. Make me watch it. Oh, yeah. And Isa is pretty much, she's pretty much the town gossip. Okay, what She's always, she, she's yeah. running her mouth, babbling on and on. Oh my god, please, please, what, when can we watch this? When will you introduce the show to me? Yes, how about, oh, tonight, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, 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 can Let's... we just start with episode one, though, so I yeah, can start yeah, to yeah. learn everybody? Okay, because yeah. you're probably ahead of me. Yeah. Avi. Okay. Okay, go, fire away. Queen of Crows Tarot oh, right. Oh, she commented yesterday. We have some pretty right. regulars on our yep. channel, thank you. Connor, do you like Forged in Fire? Yes, I do. I actually like all the uh, diverse weapons as they make on the show. Oh, like uh, for example, the Crusader sword or or, uh, or the Cossack Shaska or, or or the Kora sword from Nepal or one of my personal favorites the Aztec Makwahito It's like a it's, it's not really much of a sword really. It's a, like a machete? Uh, no, 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 no. It's more like a a club with, uh, with, well, they put all these, they put sharp objects in the sides, rocks, sharpened obsidian, and, and maybe even anything sharp they could fit in there. Okay, and and then they swing it like on a chain. No, or is no, it no, just they coming just, out of the it's stick. A, it's just coming out of the sti stick. And, and they, they made that on Forged from Fire. Yeah. What now it wasn't. Now it's not very effective as a chopping or stabbing weapon, but damn, can it shred? Oh, sounds awful. What's that sword or what is that object on? Is it? 
is it Russia's flag? It looks like a, a hook. A sickle. Oh, is that what that is? Isn't that what the Grim Reaper carries? A saw. Act, not exactly. Though some may believe it. A scythe. It is actually uh, about a six foot, foot shaft with the blade coming out of the saw. I mean, with a hooked blade coming out of the side. It's like a raven's bill. Oh. A sickle is more oh. curved like a crescent moon. And that was for like harvesting things. Yes, it was also oh, used by the Titan Kronos, the master of time. To do what? Well, they say he who wields Kronos' sickle will have the power to control time. It's bas basically you could use it for time travel. Oh. We talk about that a lot lately. It's interesting. Yeah. I think we're about to park and we're kind of really late today. And I have to go in and buy dog food, which is an unforeseen and unexpected event. Yeah. But look, I'm rolling with it. See? It yep. popped up on me. I didn't know I was going to have to do this. Yeah. I'm also wearing slippers and it's pouring rain out here. Right. Listen, what do you think? Will I get yelled at if I bring her in the store with me but keep her like in my purse? Mm. I'll tuck her in my pocketbook. Oh, well, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt. Just make sure she doesn't get out. No, no, no. I'll hold her. But I mean, I don't want her to panic in here by herself. I'll just put her in my purse. All right. Okay, so just be cool when you see us in the store because she's okay, going to okay, be okay, with okay. me. Don't make a scene. Right, here you go, here you go, here you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and stay classy, planet Earth. You'll see her inside. Yeah. So, excuse me.